Hi guys, this is a basic sleeve. So I'll be teaching you on how to make a basic sleeve, a very easy way, and it's going to be very perfect on your dress. So let's get right into the video. Hello guys, so here we are going to be doing this basic sleeve today. So I've marked my line, that is my line by the side, and I've also marked, and I'm going to be marking the line at the upper part which is the starting line so it's very very important to always have um, a starting line so now we are going to be looking at the length of the sleeve that we're working with is about um 14.5 that the length of the sleeve that we'll be working with today that's the customer's preference your sleeve can be longer can be shorter but this this is particular lengths we are working with today so there are many things involved when doing a cut when making a sleeve you have to consider the bust of the client you have to consider the ham hole length ham hole curve before you even arrive to getting to um, pre, um, drafting out the sleeve so this particular client that we're working with today her bust is 38 her bust is 38 so what was going to be happening now is we're going to be dividing 38 by 6 now for us dividing 38 by 6 is for us to, to get the armhole length i'm trying to explain how to get the armhole length at this time so 38 divided by 6 is going to be giving you about 6.3 thereabouts 6.3 so now because it's going to be working on a sleeve we're going to be adding 1.5 which will be giving us approximately 8 so our ham hole length is um, 8. Now, we are going to go out, then you get the ammo curve. We are not um, going deep into the ammo curve now because we are just dealing on the sleeve length. Subsequent videos, I will explain to you how to get the ammo hole curve. But for this bus 38, the minimum ammo curve you are expected to get is about 18. 18 inches. So that is going to go to be our, our... So now we will be getting the recurve for this client that is bust 18 the standard um ammo curve is 18 so we'll be working with 18 and the arm length um ammo length is eight so we'll be working with 18. now there's something else we are going to be getting which is the cap height the cap height is usually used for um cap sleeve but in this case since you're working with a full sleeve we'll be going straight into the full sleeve so to get the cap height we'll be dividing 38 divided by 12 which is about 3.1 which is 3.1 that 3.1 now is the cap height but because we are working with a full sleeve we are going to be adding 1.5 plus 3.1 which is giving us 4 points um, something approximately 5 approximately 5 so it's always good you approximate in, in things like this so approximately 5 so our will be where we'll be placing our armhole is on that 5 inches <coughs> So now we'll be marking our five, our five inches. That is where we are to place the armhole. Then we'll mark the three point one, which is the cap height, and that's that's it divided by twelve. That's three point one, which is the cap height. The 1.5 inches, which is approximately 5, which is the where we'll be placing our upper arm. So I'm marking that 5 all the way down. You have to make sure it's straight. You have to make sure it's straight. So we are ruling it out very straight. 
now on this line you are seeing now is where we are we'll be placing our upper arm um, now now like i said now the length of the sleeve is actually the working is about let's say 14.14.5 thereabouts so that's what we are we're going to be taking our upper arm now you can also now what we're going to do now is that now remember that again on the upper arm now we're going to be placing our upper arm measurement and for this person her upper arm measurement is actually 14 it's actually 14 so 14 the upper arm will be divided by two if you have watched my baby and my uh, my how to take a basic measure and body measurements you understand why the upper arm is divided by two and how to take an upper arm measurement so now we're going to be marking here seven we're going to be marking seven now her, her, her lower arm or ankle wherever this is stopping is about um 11. so we're going to be marking 11 divided by two, about 12 so we're going to be marking um six that's by by two we're we'll marking six so we're going to be ruling this down we're going to be ruling it down we're going to be ruling it down so now we're going to come here you'll be making a straight line connecting to that part you'll be connecting it to the beginning of the line now you make from this upper part connecting it to the beginning of the line now you're going to be taking your tape measure check what you have here that will be giving us about 8.7 it's giving us about 8.75 from the beginning here to here it's giving us about 8.75 now we're going to be checking the middle point then dividing it by two and we place our mark here Place your mark here. Now I'm going to be working with your French, your curve. Now I'm going to be placing your curve now. You place it this way. Just watch what I'm doing. You're connecting this point to the this point. Then you take your curve. Huh? Now you're going to come down, turn it upside down, and you take your measurement again. Place it this way. Same it, and you take your measurement, touching this point to this point. So now. You'll be taking the measurement again. Now, this is your upper part, and this is the lower part. Remember that this this pattern does not have any seam allowance. Now, now let's check what we have. check from the beginning of the line you check what you have following your curve just to be sure if we're on the same part or not now what do we have we have the total about 9.2 and remember that i said that the ammo that we're working with is actually 18 it's actually what 18 so now you can see now that it is almost on the accurate have. Now that is that for the basic sleeve. Now remember, if you are putting a seam allowance, now you cannot put your seam allowance. If you want to put it on the pattern, you cannot put it on the pattern. So now, if I want, to, I want to put a seam allowance of um, of um, one in one one inch, depending on the allowance that you have on the dress. Like the allow that the dress are working on, we have an allowance of one point five. So we decide to put one point five all through. So 
that is it and now this is it so this is basically what the sleeve is now it depends on how you want to be applying this sleeve so this sleeve is stopping at the ankle if you are going down to you stopping at the elbow if you are going down to your ankle length you will take it downwards to your and um, to your wrist length sorry so it depends on so basically this is what it is and this is what so now we're going to be adding our half inch allowance all the way here that is why i left this half inch here so we're going to be adding half inch allowance all the way So this is it. This is all what your sleeve allowance is all about. Then what we'll do is we cut. Remember, this is the center fold. This is a fold. This part is, is on a fold, so this is your folded area. So on the fabric, it's going to be on a fold. Kindly follow me on my video if you want to watch more videos. You want to see what we have to do with this sleeve. A lot of things can be done with this sleeve. So kindly follow me on my video to watch more videos. Thank you very much.